Hi, this is Judy Blake with Jackson Laboratory, giving my poster presentation of, about COVID-19 disease severity and the comorbidities associated with that. Our rationale and strategy is that uh, COVID-19 disease severity is correlated with a number of comorbidities, such as seen in the left here, various diseases like lung disease and diabetes, and we wanted to know, is there a common genetic basis to these diseases that um, we can uh, ind identify as associated with the COVID-19 disease? And are the shared genes enriched for phenotypes or pathways that could explain why these comorbidities lead to more severe disease? So we identified a set of diseases to investigate. We utilized Alyssa Chesler's Gene Weaver data uh, stores uh, platform and analysis platform to, uh, to identify the shared genes. And then we evaluated it for enrichment in, on the basis of phenotype or reactome or, or pathways, and then uh, compared that data with what we're finding from SARS-CoV-2 infection. Here are the five diseases that we selected, hepatitis, lung disease, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and kidney disease. We chose five gene sets from MeSH for our initial investigations, all from the same data source, with a good number of genes to investigate. So um, submitting these genes to the genes, combined gene sets analysis tool, uh, we identified eight um, genes that are shared in all five comorbidities. These are the eight human genes, including things like apolipoprotein E, already involved and associated with several diseases, including Alzheimer's and other diseases, and uh, further down, hemoxygenase 1, associated with lung diseases and diabetes. Uh, in the total set, we also uh, identified there are 123 genes that have shared annotations to four out of five of the comorbidities, and we hope to investigate those uh, that gene set more completely in the future. We then uh, moved to working in the mouse system, finding the strict orthologs for these human genes and bringing them into the mouse environment where we can, mouse genome informatics environment where we have a lot of data about these genes and uh, studies in mouse about uh, what, what in, pro, pro, how they impact um, phenotypes. Doing, uh, we did phenotype enrichment analysis using the mammalian phenotype data uh, in the mouse genome informatics system. And these are the two significant enrichments that we found. One is for immune system phenotypes, um, including things like autoimmune response, interferon secretion, not unexpected with what we we're coming to know about the impact of COVID-19, and secondly, for blood coagulation and vascular system phenotypes. Again, much emerging information about blood system uh, diseases uh, in the presentation of COVID-19. We looked here, we see some details about this phenotype enrichment. On the left side of the slide, you see uh, the, the phenotypes that I've just identified. The top, you see the human genes. The Xs indicate where a mouse Mouse models have been studied for that human gene for a specific phenotype, such as interferon secretion. And where you see the yellow backgrounds, that means that captured information within the mouse genome informatics system uh, has uh, data about a, a specific mouse model that was developed and studied for a specific phenotype. So we do want to, in the future, drill down further on this information. We then uh, took the human genes, went back to a human uh, pathway analysis system, the reactome knowledge base, and here's a top list of top 25 pathways in reactome enriched for the involvement of these eight genes. Um, this is a flat list, but in fact this has a lot of structure to it in terms of there's a bunch of sub-pathways here. We focus our, uh, ne the next bit of work on the interleukin-4 and interleukin-13 signaling pathways because we have preliminary data that um, from human COVID-19 data sets that also show enrichment in these uh, pathways, published data. Evaluating those pathways in the intersection with the eight genes that we identified, two of those genes, the STAT3 and AMOX1, um, are associated and implicated in activities of the, these signaling pathways. And so we will further investigate uh, this and other pathways going forward. 
Future directions for this work, uh, we'll continue to investigate not only these eight genes above these short comorbidities, we also will bring in more COVID-19 protein and gene sets uh, to look at the intersection between the comorbidity gen genes and the, and the COVID-19 gene sets. We will extend this work also to include other comorbidities as they're identified. Um, we will drill down and investigate the alleles and variants studied in the current mouse models available. We'll extend our pathway analysis to define pathway intersections between comorbid diseases and COVID-19. We'll extend our collaborations with the Mouse Genome Informatics System to integrate this information within the Mouse Genome Informatics uh, System COVID-19 data portal. And we'll extend our collaborations with the Mouse Phenome Database to uh, perform phenotypic evaluations and also contribute to uh, design and nomination for new mouse models under construction. Thank you very much for your listening and uh, please get in touch with me if you have any questions. Thank you.